What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and today we're talking about, yes, the best phone in the world again, hashtag no clickbait, but today we're going to talk about my setup with the Vigo X Fold. Main reason being is, I don't want to show off my setup, but also I've had, like, I've been inundated with comments which is unusual for such a small channel but I have been I've had like 50 60 70 plus comments over the past couple of videos talking about the software the apps and support I just want to clarify some myths and common misconceptions about buying a Chinese phone and using it in the UK now, this isn't a Chinese phone that's been made with a global ROM. This is a Chinese phone with a Chinese ROM. So anything I can do on this phone, trust me, you can do on any phone you buy from Wanda, Gizstop, other places, Trading Shenzhen, Trinity Electronics. There's numerous places where you can buy Chinese phones and get them imported. The one exception is Huawei purely because they don't support the Google Play Store. Yes, there's workarounds, but I will never buy a Huawei product as long as it isn't supported by Google, because there's just no point. That does become an absolute pain in the arse. So today I'm gonna to show you my setup, but also, again, show you how easy it is to have a Chinese phone and how normal it really is. Let's go. Now, before I get into the full kind of setup on my device, two things to mention. One, I use Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher version seven, I haven't downloaded the version eight beta, but I use Nova Launcher versus seven, which is a much better launcher than most other stock system launchers. So I do use that, but that should also reassure you that, hold on, you can actually install an hour launcher on this Chinese ROM phone. Yes, you can, all of them. And in the Google, Google Play Store, that's a, a, another launcher you can install, but I use Nova Launcher. Straight off the bat, you can see here, I have Revolut, I have the widget on my home screen, and it updates in live time. It shows me this is A, a banking app, and B, works in the UK. So that should be the first myth kind of debunked, if you want. We'll be Mythbusters. So myth one, UK banking apps don't work. Revolut is on my home screen as a widget. Ah, you say Revolut isn't technically UK. Well, how about these? Virgin Money, RBS. UK banking apps that do work. No, I'm not going to go into my app and show you how skint I am, but UK banking apps absolutely work on this device. Right, let's get into my setup. So, as I mentioned, I do use Nova Launcher. A handy gesture with the Nova Lover Launcher is a two finger swipe up will take you into the settings screen. So I simply had to add Nova Launcher to my device. Now, there is bit of a workaround you have to do here. It's not just simply in the apps and permissions. What you have to do is you have to create a Vivo account. And you have to do it on a desktop. Do it on your Mac or Windows PC. If you try and do it from the phone directly, it's all in Chinese. And unless you understand Chinese, fair play to you. It's impossible to do. So you have to create an account on your desktop by email. So whenever you see the option to register with email, click that option. You can use any email, your Gmail, your Yahoo, your Microsoft, whichever email you want. But as long as you set up the account, it is then easy enough to go into apps and permissions permission management, permissions, go all the way down to default app settings and then you can see home screen is Nova 7 for me. 
hopefully you can see that okay. So Nova 7. Once you've done that, so if you go into here, you can change between your system launcher and Nova. I obviously have selected Nova. Replace. There we go. So I use Nova Launcher. And that's how you set it up. Create a Vivo account using a desktop. Permissions. Default app settings. Switch it to Nova Launcher. Easy as that. Now, as far as widgets go, Nova 7 has numerous widgets, but you can see all the system, the stock Vivo system widgets in here, um, and some of them are actually really good. There's a, a video recorder, there's a nice timer, a really quick, easy timer one to use, and even just their own clock with the day. That's cool. That works quite well. You can use stopwatch, set an alarm. Um, so I actually use the stock Vivo timer. And this is the other thing as well. There's no issues with using any of the Vivo system default widgets, anything like that. I've The phone is already in English. I have Google Play Store installed. If you buy the device from Wanda um, or Gistop, it's going to come pre-installed, I think most places. But if it's not, you simply just go into the Vivo App Store, download Play Store, and that's it, that's, that's your full Google Play Store, there's no hidden tricks or anything, that's just all you do. There's one slight downside, if you want to call it that, and that is no Google Discovery Feed. And if I am ever in a pinch with regards to a Google Discovery Feed, I can simply select the Google Taskbar, or the Search Bar, sorry, and that brings up the Google Discovery Feed. So you've got Google Discovery Feed, if I tap in here I can just search, and then you've obviously got your Google Lens and your um, Google Assistant. All, again, on a Chinese ROM phone with no issues. To date, I've had the phone five days, this is the fifth day. I have had no issues whatsoever. With the front display, the fingerprint sensor is unreal, by the way. I just want to show you again. This is not a review. I'll talk about the biometrics, but look. And then the face unlock, if I just hold up to my face, that's how quick the face unlock is. I mean, the screen doesn't even get time to come on. That's it. It's just unbelievable. And that goes for the inside as well. So if I lock the phone, you ready? Boom. Ready? Look at my face. Boom. That's insane. So yeah, anyway, setup wise. What's up guys? Just a quick one because I completely forgot to mention it on the video. The notifications on the Vivo, so therefore any other Chinese phone work perfectly. Yes, you do have to turn off low power mode. You have to put them all into in the app permissions into high power mode but only for the notifications that you really need to come through on time, like WhatsApp, messages, Instagram. But other than that, notifications all work absolutely perfectly. They show on the home screen. It's like anything. Change your notification settings to show home screen, lock screen, whatever you want to, and bubbles and floating bubbles. They do it all. So again, notifications work absolutely fine. Cheers. I have my apps in uh, one page, so you can change all of the grid setups in Nova Launcher. So if I go into the app drawer settings, you can change the layout um, to, I think it's 12 by 12 it goes up to. That for me is too many. I'm kind of happy around about the 8. That's fine for me. But Nova Launcher works really well to make your app drawer look clean and all apps in one place. Obviously, that's depending on how many apps you use. But for me, I don't use tabs, but I do use the um, vertical scrolling, not the horizontal. And that works well. You can obviously change the background in your app drawer to whatever you like as well. I've just gone for a nice stock color. One thing you'll notice there, if you just swipe up from the bottom and don't hold too long, it will bring up the global search, which again, works totally fine. The global search will search all your apps. All good. What I did do was hid all of the bloatware. If you look at this device and all these apps, I'll give you a second, 
you'll see no bloatware. I've got rid of them all. Most of them can be removed when you're in the app drawer style. If you have all your apps on the home screen and not in the drawer, they won't let you remove them. It's kind of strange actually. Whereas if you change to app drawer style, they all go to your app drawer and you can remove them all from the home screen. And once they're in the drawer, you can select them by long pressing and then just click hide. So all the apps get hidden and there's a settings menu under apps where you can show hidden apps, but you'll never need that. So that works really well. Now, like any other Android device, you can pull up, hold and all your recent apps come up, which is super handy. Um, WhatsApp works absolutely fine. No problems at all. Look at that 120 hours refresh rate. Instagram works totally fine. No issues with that. Literally, guys, I wouldn't be lying to you. I have had no issues whatsoever with the software and definitely not the hardware on this device. I mean, geez, if I could, well, I was gonna say if I could show you some of the photos, but the photos we're I getting won. out of this thing and video. Um, that was me using the zoom camera, 60 times digital zoom, to take a picture of a plane quite a distance away in the sky, might I add. And then I took some, my son's obsessed with planes, I took some shots, quite macro shots. Look at that. Look at the quality of that. And this is from a fold phone, everybody. Anyway, this is not a review. This is my setup. So hopefully that's dispelled some of the myths you have about buying a Chinese phone. Now, I obviously can fully recommend using Wanda Mobile to purchase your next foreign imported phone. And that goes for any iPhone, Samsung device. You'll get an S22 Ultra brand new from Wanda for just over 900 pounds, which is close to a 200 pound saving. And it's here within seven days. Full time years warranty, 15 day return policy, customer service is top notch. Can highly recommend Wanda Mobile. Trust me, this bad boy ain't going back anywhere because it's the perfect phone as I've mentioned. The best thing that you could do for me, if you have any specific questions about the device, put them in the comment section below. And what I'll do is I'll use this comment section along with the other comment section to make a really robust Q and A video, answering all your questions. And I find that's super important because for me, when I was researching to buy the Vivo X Fold specifically, there were very few people that actually had decent reviews on it that were in English. So again, I've shouted out the Gadget Goddess and Greggles TV already, and I'll shout out to you. But what I want to do is I want to make my own UK version of a Q&A. So pop any questions you have about the Vivo X Fold, Wanda Mobile, setting up a Chinese ROM phone from scratch if it's not been pre-installed with Google Play or if it has got Google Play. Um, and anything else, any questions you've got, pop it in. I'll do a full Q&A video um, in seven days. There we go. You've got seven days to pop your comments down below. And obviously, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. See you next time. Peace.